Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Hi everyone, I'm Marie from Southern Country Living and I hope everyone is having a great day today. We're having beautiful weather here today and so I'm going to make me and Calvin a casserole for our dinner meal tonight. And um, I'm using some of uh, my uh, chicken that was out in my pantry that uh, is going to be uh, outdated in several more months and so I wanted to get that cooked up <laughs> and so uh, you can use regular chicken if you want to um, breast or whatever kind uh, of chicken you want but I'm using canned chicken uh, this recipe is called Marie's Amazing Chicken Casserole and um, I've seen this recipe made several different ways but this is my version but um, so uh, I'll be using two cups of canned chicken and two cups of pasta and I'll be using three tablespoons of butter and one small onion it's back here I don't think you can see it and I'll be using three cloves of garlic and uh, two tablespoons of flour and one half cup of sour cream and one cup of milk and uh, I'll be using Kobe Jack cheese and uh, sharp cheddar cheese <laughs> And so uh, this recipe is a real easy recipe and uh, I think Calvin's going to really enjoy it tonight. And also I'll be using a cup of mixed vegetables and this uh, pasta right here. I had this out in my pantry and I need to use it too. It's called, you can use whichever kind that you prefer, but I'm going to be using celatini. <laughs> Did I say that right, Calvin? Celatini. Uh. I don't know how to pronounce it. Let's hold the box up and show them what it is. <laughs> All right. But that's some uh, pasta that Walmart gave us as a substitution uh, a couple, two or three months ago. Yeah. And we just went ahead and took it because we wanted to have extra pasta. And uh, I'll have salt and black pepper in it to taste. And I'll... Uh, the person that's talking, his name is Calvin, in case you don't know, and that's my husband. He's the cameraman and the editor and everything else. <laughs> and so uh, let me get over here to my stove. I've already got uh, my pasta sitting over here, and I'm going to drain it, and then I'll be back. All right, I have three tablespoons of butter and one onion in my pan, and I'm going to saute my onions until they get translucent. garlic that's about the equivalent of two cloves of garlic that I just added Those onions really smell good, don't they, Kevin? Oh, uh, yes, they do, Marie. And garlic. <laughs> I think that's good enough. Okay. Now then, I'm going to add in my flour. And this is two tablespoons of flour. Thank you. 
Okay. Now then I'm going to add in a cup of milk. I'll let that cook for about a minute. Okay, now then I'm going to add, add in a half a cup of sour cream. really good. I think I'll use my whisk. Okay, this is getting thick. So now then I'm going to add in my uh, cheese and this right here is uh, two cups because this is getting really thick So I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to dry, uh, drain my pasta and I'll be back. Okay, I've got my pasta drained now. So I'm going to uh, put in my chicken. And it's got a little bit of chicken stock in it. If your sauce is too thick, that will help smooth it out. So now then I'm going to put in my vegetables. Some of them don't want to come out. But there we go. And put in my red pepper flakes. Okay, and now then I'm going to put in my pasta. So I'm going to stir this all together. Also, I'm going to put in a little bit of salt to your taste, a little bit of black pepper. Stir all this up. This uh, amazing pasta dish looks just like its name, amazing. Okay, I have my uh, chicken casserole all mixed up now, so I'm going to pour it in my 9 by 13 pan. Now then I'm going to put my cheese on top. I can't wait till this is done today. <laughs> Brie, I think that casserole is going to live up to its name. <laughs> it sure does look good. I'm going to cook this in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, my casserole is done now. Mm. Wow. It really looks good and smells amazing. <laughs>
Okay, when this cools off, I'll come back and do the taste test. ready to do the taste test and this casserole is real creamy and it's got it's really a meal in itself it's got vegetables in it and chicken and I'm ready to quit talking and take a bite <laughs> let me get that little pea right there <laughs> Mm. Mm. That's really delicious. Calvin, would you like to do a taste test? Uh, yeah, if it's as good as it looks. <laughs> it's very good. Well, it definitely looks good, too. I'm glad you put those vegetables in because I think that's going to make it even better. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> you can also taste a little bit of the pepper flakes <laughs> in it, can't you? <laughs> but I think that just gives it like an extra kick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like these noodles. What was the name of them? Silatani or something like that? So they're uh, real pretty the way they're curly and got spirals on it. Yeah, silatani or silatani, yeah. This is good, Marie. It does have a lot of the red pepper flakes in it. Yeah. So if you don't like it too hot, you might want to put a little bit less of that. Mm -hmm. But I like it. It's real good. I like it too. And if you don't like mixed vegetables, you can even leave those out. Mm -hmm. You can just sort of make it your own. That's what I did. I like how you used the canned chicken. Mm -hmm. That saved a lot of work, didn't it? It did. And, and this would be a real easy weeknight recipe to make. Mm -hmm. and we had a lot of cans of chicken out on our pantry. We did. So w these were about to expire in about three or four more months. So mm -hmm. We needed to get rid of them that way. Right. <laughs> so and, uh, if I enjoyed it, Maria. It's very good. Thank you. I'm going to uh, enjoy this whole meal. Okay. And if anyone else has any chicken and they don't have any fresh chicken, this uh, canned chicken works just fine with this recipe. So, um, I'm going to close this video out now because I'm ready to eat. <laughs> so y'all do what you love and love what you do. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk and loved. Years later, I have started thinking if it's just love in every glass I'm drinking.